On this edition of West Coast Sporting Journal, I'll be traveling to Rivers Inlet, British Columbia and Legacy Lodge on Pendleton Island. On this episode, I'll be covering saltwater fly fishing strategies to locate preferred bait and salmon holding areas through the visual topography when searching new fly water. Join me today in Rivers Inlet at Legacy Lodge for saltwater fly fishing for salmon on today's show. What I'm looking for primarily are called bait passageways or bait holding areas that can hold concentrations of bait. Without the bait, you simply cannot find the salmon and especially coho, they're voracious feeders. In this area, we've got what looks like a sheer cliff face, but actually when you might not pick it up on your electronics 100 feet out, but as you move and, and do your exploratory work, visual indicators are, I'm noticing kelp on the inside, I can visually, through the use of a ground glass lens, see dark areas and light. So there's a beautiful light shoal here. There's no more. It comes up to maybe 15 feet, I'm seeing a little bit of bait busting on the surface. And what I mean by a passageway, we go through a dark area to my right, there's also a kelp island. So when I look at the topography of this area, I've got a perfect bait passageway where it will hold bait and also where coho can predate on these needlefish, anchovies or herring. Once I've found the bait and I found my key indicators of bait, salmon, underwater reefs, kelp, I've got all of my elements. I've got to make a decision. Am I going to be casting on the move, on a wind drift, or am I going to be anchoring? My anchoring choices are a traditional anchor or I can simply take some rope from the bow or stern and tie up to the kelp as it's rooted to the ocean floor. I think my choice today, because the wind isn't too bad, I'm going to actually just wind drift through these bait passageways trying to locate the first salmon of the day. And I can see the bait busting on the surface so I know there are some fish here. With wind drifting, the whole point of saltwater fly fishing is making sure that that fly presentation is in the zone, in the fly zone, as long as possible. And that's the beauty of wind drifting as opposed to anchoring. Anchoring will determine how that fly will be presented. When you've got the luxury of wind drifting, you can present that fly in many different angles, both inshore, side to side, or a little bit offshore. Okay, here we go. There's a fish right behind me. Let's see if we can get him. Okay. There you are. Come on now. That's the beauty of wide arbor reels. Fast pickup. Well, these fish will be all over you. Yeah, they got a little bit of power. Oh yeah, my green clouser did it. That's the hot one. Saltwater fly fishing, a very rewarding hobby. When all the elements line up together, there is nothing like it. Just the perfect essence of a salmon, dark back, chrome underside, perfect fins, well-defined lateral line, and a love of flies. You know, DFO has a massive responsibility in ensuring that these coho salmon and king salmon are in the Pacific for years to come. So any pollution from industry out in the rivers, any potential spills into the ocean ruins the habitat of these salmon. We've already lost 600 salmon streams on the south coast, which is considered to be the, the lower mainland. 
through industry, urbanization, and habitat destruction. Oh, you were that way. I think I've got a new favorite saltwater fly fishing spot. <laughs>